Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasi today here. We were discussing the QRS complex in previous lecture. We have discussed the basics of QRS complex. Today we are going to discuss the abnormalities of the QRS complex. Abnormalities involves the high voltage QRS complex, low voltage QRS complex, narrow and wide QRS complex. So all these abnormalities will be discussed later on in this video. So starting from the first abnormalities of the QRS complex, which is the high voltage QRS complex. When you say that the voltage is high, high means the level of amplitude is greater than 25 small square boxes, which means it is greater than 25 millimeter or greater than 25 small square boxes. This is seen in first abnormality, which is a high voltage. QRS. So what will be the causes of this high voltage QRS complex? The causes involves number one is incorrect calibration. When the calibration is incorrect, you will see high voltage QRS complex. Thin chest wall is the condition in which you will see the high voltage QRS complex. There can also be the ventricular hypertrophy, which can be right or left ventricular hypertrophy. So this will be also the cause for high voltage QRS complex. Then comes the WPW syndrome. This is a pre-excitation syndrome in which there will be a high voltage QRS complex seen on a ECG paper. So these are all the causes for this high voltage QRS complex. Now we are going to discuss the second abnormality which is low voltage QRS complex. When you say that the voltage is less or low, this means that it is less than 5 millimeter in the leads, lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3 and less than 10 millimeter in the chest leads. So these are the leads recording the signal for electrical activity of the heart. So when it is less than 5 millimeter or less than 10 millimeter means it is less than 5 small square boxes in the leads lead 1, 2, 3 and less than 10 millimeter means less than 10 small square boxes in the chest leads. So what are the causes for this low voltage QRS complex? Now the causes for this low voltage QRS complex involves number one is the anasarca which is a condition in which there is a generalized body edema. This is a condition in which you will notice the low voltage QRS complex. There are other causes for this low voltage QRS complex which involves the myocardial infarction, myocarditis, hypothyroidism which can develop the pericardial effusion and there is a condition which is constrictive pericarditis. In, peri in constrictive pericarditis, you will notice the fibrosis of pericardium. When the fibrosis occurs, means the muscle is now dead. So there will be less chances of capturing the electrical signal by these leads. So there is also condition of myocardial infarction. We have discussed the myocarditis, constrictive pericarditis, hypothyroidism. is also leading this can also develop the pericardial effusion pericardial effusion itself is also the cause for this low voltage qrs complex because in pericardial effusion you will notice the fluid and then this fluid will also distort capturing of electrical signal by these leads so pericardial effusion is also the cause for this low voltage QRS complex. 
there are other conditions like uh, amyloidosis or tumor or there can also be a left-sided pneumothorax so in all these conditions you will see that the voltage of qrs complex is less than 5 and less than 10 millimeter in these leads so these are the causes for low voltage qrs complex next we are going to discuss the third abnormality which is a broad qrs complex so this third abnormality which is a broad qrs complex is seen in conditions like left bundle branch block right bundle branch block or there will be also ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation hyperkalemia in which there will be the broad qrs complex along with the tall t waves seen on a ecg paper so these are the condition in which you will notice the broad qrs complex so when you say that the qrs complex is broad this means the width of this qrs complex has increased so this width is increased now the normal width or duration of this qrs complex is 0 0.112 second and some books say 0 0.12 seconds so basically in a simple way you can say that greater than three small square boxes so when this is greater than three small scale boxes that is width of the qrs complex is greater than three small scale boxes you will say that the qrs complex is broad and this is usually seen in the left bundle branch block and also in the right bundle branch block so these are the causes for broad qrs complex wpw syndrome pre excitation syndrome also shows this wide qrs complex so you cannot ignore that condition also then comes the fourth abnormality which is the narrow QRS. So this narrow QRS complex is seen in atrial fibrillation and also in other uh, cardiac diseases like uh, atrial fibrillation with uh, abnormal R wave. So these are the conditions in which you will notice the narrow QRS complex. Narrow QRS complex means the width is less than three small square boxes. So these are the condition in which you will notice the narrow QRS complex, broad QRS complex. Uh, high high voltage QRS complex, low voltage QRS complex. In the end, there is also condition in which you will notice the alternate high and low voltage QRS complexes. So these will be seen in severe to moderate pericardial effusion. And there can also be the condition like uh, tuberculosis or malignancy in which you can see alternate high and low voltage QRS complex. So today we have discussed the abnormalities of the QRS complex. In the next video, we will be discussing different clinical conditions along with the ECG patterns. So we have started the ECG series from the P wave. Then we have discussed the Q wave, R wave, S wave, ST segment, T wave. And finally, we have discussed the QRS complex in detail. So hope you like my video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. But before going to end my video, I must say here, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends and colleagues so that they will get notification also.